Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When using JavaScript, the console object provides access to the browser's debugging console. This is used to find and correct errors in your JavaScript code or to keep a log file of activities. The console object provides many methods you can use to create logs and alerts to inform you of any problems in your code. A full list of the console object methods can be found in the appendix section of the instruction manual. The most commonly used feature of the console object is the logging of text and other data. There are four different categories of data you can generate. You can use console.log, which is used to log data, console.info, which is used to return informative logging data, console.warn, which is used to output a warning message, and console.error, which is used to output an error message. These methods will each output results that are styled differently in the log. You can use the filters found in the controls of your browser's console to view only the kinds of output that suit your needs. There are two ways that you can use each output method. The first is to simply give a list of objects whose string representations will get concatenated into one string and then output to the console. The other option is to pass a string containing one or more substitution strings followed by a list of the objects with which you, to replace them. Substitution strings are covered in a later lesson. An example of a single object output using the console.log method is there some object equals curly bracket str colon quote test text close quote comma id colon five close curly bracket semicolon console.log parenthesis some object close parenthesis semicolon this code will give you an output that will look something like this. Bracket 09 colon 27 colon 13.475 close bracket parenthesis curly bracket str colon quote test text close quote comma id colon 5 close curly bracket close parenthesis. The output contains the time 92713 and the properties and values of the object you requested to be logged str colon test text comma id colon 5 you can use the console to output informative information as well the console.info method is used when you want to output multiple objects and add information a basic code setup using the console.info object would look like this. Their car equals quote Chrysler 300 close quote semicolon. Their sum object equals curly bracket str colon quote test text close quote comma id colon five close curly bracket semicolon console.info parenthesis quote my first car was a space quote comma car comma quote period space the object is colon space close quote comma some object close parenthesis semicolon the output for this code would look like this at the time my first car was a Chrysler 300 period the object is string colon quote test text quote comma ID colon five and the output shows the time of the output and the information you wanted added to the output my first car was a Chrysler 300 and the object is string test text with an ID of five this allows you to add information for future reference without having to add it each time you want the same output. 
you will only be able to see the output of the console object when you have the console function turned on in your browser. If you have any console code in your script without the console function turned on, it will return error messages. This is because the console object is used for error checking. To turn on the console function in Firefox, go to Tools, Web Developer, and then Web Console in the toolbar or ribbon. And for Internet Explorer, go to Tools, F12 Developer Tools, and then select the Console tab from your toolbar or ribbon. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.